robbery. Yeah. The calls destroyed his alibi. Joe had stated that he was staying with her the entire time. Not too smart. Yeah. They called Sanders in for additional questioning, hoping he could shed more light on Joe's involvement. What I'd like for you to do is, uh... Sanders told the agents about a conversation he had with both Agofsky brothers. That incident took place in Sammy Skaggs' junkyard. The three of them were working on one of the cars, and uh, Sammy Skaggs announced that uh, the banker from Joplin was here to pick up his car. And that apparently generated a, a comment from, uh, I believe it was Joe, that uh, what the three of them ought to do was to uh, follow a banker, follow him home, uh, grab him, kidnap him, and force him to take him to the bank and open the vault. At the time, Sanders agreed that it might be an easy way to get rich. The plan sounded eerily like what could have happened to Dan Short. It was now clear to the FBI that the brothers had the knowledge, motive, and opportunity to pull off the homicide and heist. Based on accumulating evidence, Joe Agofsky was arrested more than two years after the horrifying crime. Both brothers were indicted on three federal counts relating to the bank robbery and murder. But would the evidence be strong enough to convict the two brothers? The investigators were betting on it.